Okay, so let's, um, let's just quickly go through this uh, third example here on this question. I have um, cal calcium nitrate plus sodium, hmm, maybe offhand I haven't uh, seen this ion before, C2O4. But uh, here's how you deal with something like this that we haven't seen before. You know this is an ionic compound because we have that sodium in there. Okay, just like the calcium, we know that's the calcium ion with some counter ion or the anion, okay? So this is our sodium ion. We have two sodium ions with a, um, a different uh, anion there. This anion happens to be oxalate, C2O4. What is the charge of that oxalate ion? Um, we know from this formula, if we have two sodiums to balance out that charge, that each sodium has a positive one charge because it's an alkali metal in the first group. Um, and so if I have positive two from the two sodiums, this must be a negative two. All right. So um, that will help me in predicting my products here. So let me uh, just write this out. Calcium nitrate and, uh, and sodium um, oxalate. Okay. Calcium nitrate plus sodium oxalate, C2O4, produces what's going to happen. Same thing, just like we did before. I'm swapping the ion pairs, okay? Positive uh, ion, the cation from the calcium nitrate goes with the anion, that oxalate ion, over here, okay? So that will give me um, calcium, which has what charge? Well, it's in the second group, the alkaline earth metals, so it has a positive two charge. Um, I can also tell because it's balanced with two nitrates, which are each a negative one, right? So it has a positive two. The oxalate has a negative two to balance out the sodium. And so that goes together, positive two, negative two, um, one to one, all right? So it's just calcium uh, oxalate, Ca, C2O4, okay? And then on the other side, I have sodium going with the nitrate. Sodium is a positive one. Nitrate is a negative one. So when those go together, it's just NaNO3. Don't forget, um, you're looking at the individual ions and then you're recombining them into a formula according to their charges like you normally would. You don't reference these numbers when you're making your new formulas. Okay, so we've got our equation there. Now let's balance it. Um, you'll see we have two nitrate over there, only one here, so I need two of these formula units. That will give me my two nitrate. At the same time, it gives me two sodium ions, and there they are. I have my two sodium ions. To verify, I have the one oxalate ion and the one calcium ion. Okay, so... Um, so now I have the balanced equation. We need to write the net ionic equation. Okay, so you'll recall that um, nitrates are soluble um, and also that alkali metals are soluble. So that one's going to be soluble. Here again, nitrate and al alkali, so that's soluble. So this calcium oxalate, um, we can be pretty sure that that is an insoluble compound. However, it is possible to have um, everything be soluble. Um, what that would indicate is that there's not going to be a reaction because if we do the net ionic equation, we'll find everything would cancel out. There's no net reaction in that um, kind of an example. Okay, but let's look back here to my um, solubility tables. And you'll notice down here, insoluble compounds, um, it actually has 
oxalate, C2O4, with a negative 2 charge as an insoluble compound. Okay, any oxalate um, containing compound is insoluble. However, there are these exceptions. Um, the salts of ammonium and the alkali metal cations. And that's why I said the sodium oxalate was soluble because it's an exception to that rule. However, calcium is not an exception to that rule. And so what I have is um, I have an insoluble compound. All right? So my soluble compounds, I separate into their constituent ions. And so here I have calcium with its positive two because it's in the second group, the alkaline earth metals, and it's aqueous. All ions will be aqueous. And then I have two nitrate ions, two NO3 with their negative one charge. And that comes from memorization. All right. Um, again, all of these in the net ionic equation, lots of AQs there. Sometimes um, I get lazy and don't include them, but uh, technically they should be included. Okay. Here I have two sodium ions to balance uh, to balance my oxalate, so they separate. It's not Na2. Um, it's 2Na. Each of those individual sodium ions is a positive one and they completely separate from each other. Okay. And then I have the oxalate ion and again that's a polyatomic ion. We're going to leave it by itself. Leave it together um, just like that. Okay. So um, and, and, and when you look this, look at this for the first time and you haven't seen that strange ion, um, you know the metal, that, that's kind of your, your trigger to tell you where to divide this. Okay? You wouldn't divide it here because what's Na2C2? Okay? Um, that's, uh, you know, the, the metal part of that, the metals are usually by themselves. And so that um, is where you would divide that. And that's how you would know is because that metal would be by itself. Okay. Um, just to qualify that, sometimes we might have an ion like um, uh, permanganate. Permanganate ion is MnO4. So you might see something like KMnO4. Um, in this case, if you hadn't seen that before, the when when this first yeah because you have two metals all right the first metal with the oxygen with only oxygen that forms a polyatomic ion okay um, and so then you would divide that here where you have potassium ions and then with the oxygen alone um, here I have it with carbon and so um, I know that there's my division. Um, but if, if I had another metal in there with oxygen, like I do in this example, then that uh, um, the manganese goes with the oxygen and the potassium is by itself. Okay, so just a little side note there. Um, the products to this reaction, I have my insoluble calcium oxalate. Since it's insoluble, I write that as a solid. Okay? And then I have a soluble compound here, so that breaks apart as two sodium ions and two nitrate ions. Okay? Oops. Um, so here's my total ionic equation and I need to cancel out my spectator ions, the two sodium ions, as well as the two nitrate ions, right? And then write my net ionic equation as the, uh, the calcium ions plus the 
oxalate ions to give me calcium oxalate solid. I forgot my AQ there. Okay, so there's the net ionic equation.